got Scorpion and Sub-Zero right there. Yep. Uh, so they quickly went past the sort of variant system, which we'll talk about later. Okay. Um, but here you'll be able to see some of the sort of graphics. Super sick gameplay. loading screen. Thank really, you. really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they did a great job. Uh, it's sort of the overall goal of keeping that sort of gritty cinematic look throughout everything. So I see that actually. Is this, this Do we have cinematics before every battle like that? Yeah, so um, you'll see these intros where there's a conversation between the two characters, and those are custom based upon which characters you use. So they have, awesome. you know, story dialogue. That's really cool. Now I love the, the character design too of, of the outfits and everything. Like, like, really, this game feels. It feels really overhauled for such a short time. MK9 wasn't too long ago, and MKX just looks like. Crazy fresh. Yeah. Uh, so what the guys did is the second uh, sort of injustice was closing down. Yeah. Uh, they immediately went on to next gen these new toys, and they were super excited. So the, the tech guys have been working on this for, for years now, uh, really to get it where you're seeing now. Yeah, and it looks like we're seeing some classic moves like Scorpion's teleport, the trip. The trip was always my favorite because it was like the weirdest animation back in the day. <laughs> it was like no one else did that thing where they go on the ground and. Yep, and uh, we all cheated through the arcade using it. So yes. yeah. So they have their classic moves, but they're sort of redesigned uh, mm -hmm. because this is MKX, next generation of this game, of the, of the characters, everything. So mm -hmm. um, and it's still, they're going to feel like the characters you know and love, but you'll see new twists. Yeah, but that's interesting. So he's uh, getting, a little, uh, getting a little help from hell <laughs> yeah. there, it seems like. So that was the variant system where you can choose from one of three sort of variants, obviously, of okay. a character where it sort of adds new moves or twists that kind of fundamentally change the way a character plays. So that was uh, a variant in which he summons this Hell Beast down to help attack for you. And you only get that if you choose one variant. Uh, if you choose a different one, you'll get uh, completely different effects that really alter the style of the character. I'm seeing some interaction with the background now. This is this is new for me, so that, that is awesome. He just jumped off a stump <laughs> in the tree. What the heck? Yep, so uh, it's something we, with Injustice, really could experiment with because it's a new franchise. And then we took kind of the best features and, and integrated them with MK. So just pulled the thing off the tree. <laughs> yeah, so you can interact with the backgrounds. You can grab things, jump off things. It's just this sort of tight, brutal experience where each background's going to have lots of elements you can use in different ways. And the X-ray. Yes, of course, the X-ray moves. I love that addition. That was huge and so brutal. This day. These, these are even nastier, yeah. man. You guys went over the top. Yeah, it's uh, the new hardware, the new engine really let the guys go nuts. So you're seeing you know, individually modeled bones and organs, and it, it just gets really brutal. Yeah, that's crazy. He just swung on the tree and everything. So that's, that's really interesting. I think that's definitely going to play a huge factor in, in, in the gameplay here. Yeah. Uh, so some are offensive, like that one you saw with yes. the rock. Some are defensive where you can jump off a tree. You can actually combo some of them and jump off a stump to a tree and then get more air. A lot of really cool things you can do with that. Yeah, th that is really, really cool. I'm so stoked to see this battle right now. <laughs> um, so that was a variant. Did we see any variants from Sub-Zero as well there? Yeah, um, so this particular Sub-Zero variant, I believe, he has a uh, ice shield that he can inject, so it provides okay. sort of an offensive ice shield. Um, and that's one of the key things it does is you can play to your style. So if you're more offensive, you can play one variant. If you're more defensive, another. And it sort of lets you master the character type that you love. But still, you know, still like Scorpion, you're going to play the Scorpion. And it looks like I actually saw Sub-Zero maybe switch stances. Okay, I'm no, going to shut up. It's the magic. I'm going to shut up. This is, this is going to be it. Oh, show it to me. Come on, Scorpion. You can pull it off. You can do it. Scorpion, you can do it. No, what? <laughs> Scorpion, come on. What are you doing, man? <laughs> You're supposed to finish it. What yeah. are you doing, Scarpy? That happens live. I think that was a video. <laughs> who, who, who misses a fatality in a video? <laughs> it looked uh, like they were trying. I saw some ducking. and I think it was a chance to show um, a variant uh, so you could see a sort of different play type. I got to assume. Cause okay, by the way, it uh, looks like we're going to get into some Raiden uh, footage here. But I must uh, say that I was playing Sega Genesis the other day. Raiden, R-A-Y-D-E-N, <laughs> is uh, the character in, on the Sega Genesis. So <laughs> Yeah, all right. <laughs> I, I need to go back as well. Yes, then. you got to check that out. So I'm excited to see Kano, too. Love the redesign of that character yeah, as well. Yeah, uh, a lot of them really went through a, a fresh take. Because MK9 was the reboot sort of back to the basics. And this is our chance to actually evolve it since then. You're going to see uh, a lot of new takes on classic characters and then a lot of new characters that uh, we think integrate with the universe really well. And then Kano, I know he has like, a couple different forms, or I don't know exactly what the, the It's the variants, yeah. yeah. So um, all it, another example where all the variants are going to, for each character there are three options. Okay. So they're tailored to that character so they'll be able to do different things. Um, the easy ones, Raiden actually has a variant where he, he spawned these defensive um, electrical uh, fields, so he can sort of hide behind those traps, where another variant uh, just doesn't have those all together. Uh, so he can sort of mix the play style, mix what's cool for the character for you. Yeah, that is really, really awesome. Yeah, because uh, Kino has like, he has like combat form and yep. uh, a couple other ones. So are they all like uh, different to each, like, uh, person, like the names of it would be like, you know, Hell, Helder. Yeah, uh, no, they're really cool. Uh, uh, Cassie Cage. 
Yeah, uh, one of hers is uh, sort of Hollywood, so it's a oh, reference it? back to the, sort of the Hollywood nature of her dad. John. Cool. Yeah, yeah, of course. Who's Johnny what? What's Mortal Kombat? Johnny who? <laughs> John, yeah. No, Johnny Cage, awesome. Yeah. Man, gotta love the, yeah. those old school. Always gotta do the split punch. Yeah. They go all favorite of mine. But yeah, this this game looks incredible. I, uh, they, they seem like they're moving even like more realistic and wide play than ever before. Yeah, no, um, so our animation team is working with the, the programming tech teams as well to kind of come up with uh, sort of a way to do smoother animations to really get take advantage of our, our more articulate skeletons. So you're going to see a game that, you know, it's going to be a lot better visually. You're going to get better gameplay. It's pretty awesome that they managed to accomplish even in this short amount of time. Um, you get the, you know, as you're seeing here, the sort of same competitive gameplay you had before, we just managed to take it up a notch. Uh, yeah, the, the the depth of the move set is in, is incredible. Like in this short video that we're seeing, the, the amount of moves that each character has is like crazy. Yeah, uh, that's one of the things the designers uh, absolutely love doing is just going. You think he's gonna be okay? No, he's fine. Um, we don't make a sim because the game wouldn't last very long. Yes. So it tends to be a little. Uh, yeah. Okay. A little tongue in cheek. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh no, that's not. That's uh, not good. Oh, there, he's helping him. He's yeah. helping him. Yep. Oh, wait. No, okay, I thought I thought he was maybe going to carry him out or something, but he actually shot him in the face and blew his brain, brains yeah. out. Yeah, so luckily we got a fatality. Uh, <laughs> another thing that's really next-gen lets us do some crazy things with fatality. Yeah, that... Uh, that, that looks really, really cool. I can't, I can't wait to pull off some of those. Uh, is there like a lot of, are there going to be, I think in the last game, I think I remember playing, there was about three fatalities per, per person. Is, is fatalities a, a big focus again, or just pretty much the whole game, I guess, is a big focus? Yeah, but, but uh, fatalities are always, you know, they're special to us, yes, right? I mean, exactly. That's, that's sort of our DNA. So a lot of time spent going with, you know, over fatalities, coming up with new ones, and making them all sort of special. So w is, it, is it fair to say we might see a couple classics in there? There's always homages to yeah. sort of what we've done of course, in the past. There, there really are, yeah. yeah. Uh, like, uh, oh, no, sorry. No, please. Uh, yeah, so in, across the board, you can expect secrets and mm -hmm. all the usual stuff we do, referencing yeah. old stuff. I love, I love that you mentioned that because uh, that I was going to say the Sub-Zero spine rip was like kind of back in there again because he goes through the back and pulls the <laughs> yeah. spine out. So it's a new twist on something yeah. everyone knows and loves. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. It's a, that is uh, too cool. I can't, I can't wait to get my hands on it. I'm definitely going to have to sneak over there. Do um, you think? But uh, the roster right now, it, it looked, uh, when we saw the screen for like one second, we saw the roster screen for yeah, like half a second, quickly. right? It looked like I maybe saw like uh, six. Are there any character reveals we're maybe going to get soon? Or what's going on with that? Yeah, I mean, the, the game will ship in next year. Okay. So let's give it a tight window of next year. Yeah. Uh, and you can expect reveals. Uh, we were a big fan of keeping our characters secret until the last second. Because there's okay. a lot of surprising choices usually, and this time... There's a lot. Oh my uh, gosh! I can't wait. Yeah, everyone, I, everyone keeps like speculating. All my <laughs> friends keep going like, "Oh no, no, he's in. He's for sure gonna be in." But oh, you know what I saw, I saw on the video that was interesting? Um, the weapons play is, of course, still there. And yep. and I remember when weapons really got first introduced, like back in Mortal Kombat, I think four. Four. Yep. Is when they were like, yep. Yeah, that was that was crazy, and, and it kept going. And I feel like the integration has been a lot better in the recent releases. Not that it was bad in the before. <laughs> not that it was bad. So sorry. Please don't hurt me, Ed Boon, or anybody <laughs> over at uh, Mid Blair Netherrealm or yep. anything. Yep. Um, the, I, I really think it, it flows a lot better yep. now. So you guys are doing a really great job of integrating the weaponry. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so the weaponry are now part of the environment interactions you saw. Mm -hmm. So rather than being sort of a, something you pick up or whatnot, it's something that's part of the actual experience. So it could be a weapon like you saw them pick up that branch and just nail. Yes. Uh, or there could be uh, the things you jump off of. Mm -hmm. So weapons are the same as the things you use interactively for escapes. Um, yeah. So that just provides really tight experience uh, without having to you know, pick up a clunky weapon. Yeah, so, so we don't have a date yet, like you said, but uh, tentative, uh, you said early next year? Is just that next year. Just yeah. next year. <laughs> It's just, no! yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait that long. Well, I'm really, really excited. I think that we might have one. Uh, I'm not positive, but we might have one additional I shot of gameplay. So. If not, I can act it out. Oh, yes. Trailer. There it goes. All right, let's check it out. Ah, a little more Raiden action there. Raiden. Yep. Sorry, it's Raiden. Yeah, it's Raiden versus uh, <laughs> Kotal Khan. So Kotal Khan's another. Uh, it's a Thunder character entirely new sun. to uh, MKX, yeah. um, sort of based around the Aztec mythology. Uh, a lot of his powers and his variants are based around that, so um, 
So you really get that feel of the overall character. Yeah, the, the new character design has been awesome, by the way. Uh, snaps going out to the dev team there. Really, really do like the new additions. I think they fit really well with uh, with the Mortal Kombat, you know, feel. And that's one of the goals. The new characters should feel overall like they've been part of the franchise and the story forever. Exactly. Yep. Uh, so, I guess in terms of variants, you're seeing uh, uh, Raiden's sort of electrocution variant, which is more focused on offense powers and the teleports, uh, the big combos. Uh, so depending on the variant you get, you're going to see fundamentally different gameplay. So this is the, this is the teleportation yes. one. Focus of this character uh, in this variant. So if you love him, you're going to still get the basic moveset for Raiden, but you're going to see this entirely new twist where only you know, the teleportation is the focus of this particular uh, build of this character. Uh, and Total Con, you're seeing some of his new uh, yes, that is, violent moves. I know, I'm just taking it in. I feel bad. I'm like kind of being quiet, but I'm also like, I just am trying to watch yeah. the video. Let's be real. I'm just trying to. Okay, so we got Stormlord right yeah. in right here. So this one's more of a, of a defensive uh, character variant where you're going to be able to set traps up using those little lightning balls. Yes. Uh, and then at, you're going to bait the other character into coming to you, and then you can sort of hide behind them as the other character gets elected. Uh, the depth of this game is cool. I can't get over it. Like, honestly, I'm just sitting here watching all these screens, and they're doing so many moves, and they each have three variants. It's crazy. Yeah, no, uh, ba balancing it has been something we've had to start extremely early on this game. Yes. There's so much content at this point. Yeah. So, Raven's X-Ray. Yeah, the animations look great. So, w actually, it's kind of funny that you uh, might have mentioned that a little bit earlier. You said you wanted these characters. Okay. <laughs> It's That's cool. the most brutal X-ray. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Yeah. Just had to stop mid-thought. That is, that is a really good X-ray. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you were you were saying you, you want these characters to feel like they fit. Oh great, man! Yeah, here we go. They have to keep shutting up. It, oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! Okay, that was awesome. Yeah. So a lot of time goes into those, and it's. It's the best part of the job for us. We get to do stuff like that every day. I swear, I promise I will ask the question that I meant to ask if this footage stops playing so I can concentrate. No, that was really, really cool. And that's funny that we were talking about classic fatalities. That reminds me of the Mortal Kombat 1 fatality, right? Uh, Raiden goes up to him and just boom. Yep. Just uh, boom, the head blows up. Well, to relate to that question so we can finally get to it. Yes. yes. Uh, so everything is tied back to sort of the lore of the game. So yes. visuals or uh, the fatalities. So this way, you know, it's... It's our universe. We want to make sure mm -hmm. that we maintain that and grow it. And there's a lot of people that really love and care about the lore behind it. So we can't, you know, veer yeah. and, and try something that wouldn't fit. Mm -hmm. We want it to be sort of consistent because we love it too. Of course, yeah. So the, um, where are we in the Mortal Kombat timeline? So the, the story, uh, across the story mode, which is mm -hmm. similar to MK9, is going to cover, uh, you know, at least you know, 5 to 25 years. It's sort of this time period mm -hmm. of the future and events beyond MK9, okay. um, but you'll see sort of this gap uh, covering a lot of what happens. Yeah, because there's a lot of new characters that we uh, got to get introduced into that obviously play some pretty major roles, I would say, and then there's uh, there's the classics in there as well, which is, oh my gosh, I can't wait to play Sub-Zero <laughs> on the real. I, I, nothing I, I love to do more than baiting people into walking into your, you know, the frozen statue. The ice clone. Yeah, yeah. the ice clone, and yep. then they just walk in and freeze. Um, so that's like all awesome classic yep. stuff there. So really, really fun. I can't wait. Uh, again, guys, Adam from NetherRealm Studios joining me here on stage. He's producer. This is a man. You got. I'm just Ed. Really quick here. <laughs> this is the guy behind it. When you're playing Mortal Kombat X, this is the face that will be in your dreams at night. When you're just like Mortal Kombat was so fun. That's <laughs> terrifying to even me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gonna be awesome because. You are, that, that's huge. That's a really important role in the game, uh, producing it. You're overseeing, like, everything. Like, you know, it's like, um, when, when people enjoy this game, it's like, that was you, man. I mean, obviously, there's the programmers and things like that, but I, I guess people sometimes don't realize, like, every nook and cranny that, that people um, pay, pay attention to. You're like, that one little animation, no, we can do that differently, or things like that. And uh, yep. so thank you so much yep. from Mortal Kombat fans. It's, yeah, we do a good <laughs> job of representing, like, because 200 people work on this game, and they're all super oh talented, gosh. and a producer just kind of enables them to make awesome stuff, so, yeah, uh, yeah it's very That's, fun. That is too cool. Again, uh, Adam, such a pleasure to be here from uh, Twitch and MK fans alike. <laughs> Thank you again. And uh, guys, live, PAX Prime from Seattle, Washington. We will see you soon. Thank you very much.